I'm Zahin Singh and welcome to PT Dance Educational Videos. Today we're going to be talking about the two types of natural testosterone produced in your body. Bound and free. Bound testosterone makes up about 98% of the testosterone in your body. Bound testosterone simply means that the testosterone hormone is bound to a type of protein produced by your liver. The two different types of protein are the sex hormone binding globulin and albumin. Round about 50-50 each, so you're looking at about 49% each, that so makes the total quantity of 98%. Why does this occur? Your liver produces these proteins to bind with your testosterone so that your testosterone is no longer found as a foreign substance. So what happens is, it won't get flushed out of your system, it remains in your body to do its job. The last 2% of the testosterone that is not bound is what causes your physiological effects such as increased strength and muscularity. So for the bodybuilders out there and those who are looking at training really hard in the gym and looking to get really good gains, this is the 2% that, is, that you should be worried about and concerned about. You're trying to boost this amount. Now, even females find it more difficult to boost strength and muscularity in comparison to males because they have about 1 15th of this amount. Now, if you're looking at taking anabolic steroids, you're injecting a type of testosterone that your body won't find needing to bind. So what happens is, all that testosterone you're putting in your body boosts this amount. So you're taking a 2% well beyond what it should be. But if you're looking at taking a natural herb, let's have a look at ZMA versus Tribulus as the two most important ones on the market today. Tribulus in the past has been used as an aphrodisiac. And here's why. Tribulus does not boost your free testosterone. It is clinically proven not to increase strength and muscularity, but it does improve testosterone. But the testosterone we are talking about is the bound testosterone. And because it's been used as an aphrodisiac, it's because it uses the protein. It attaches to the sex hormone binding globulin. So it increases your sex drive, but will not increase your strength and muscularity because it does not increase your free testosterone. ZMA does this in two ways. So ZMA does work. ZMA does increase strength and muscularity. The zinc naturally produces testosterone in your body, and the ZMA formula puts you into a deep sleep where you're actually producing more testosterone when your body's in that deep sleep and completely relaxed. So, does tribulus work? To save your money, don't waste your money. If you're looking at buying a supplement, what I personally suggest is that you buy ZMA. So ZMA does work. Here's a really good trick now to take your ZMA results and boost it even further. I've discovered a herb called stinging nettle. What stinging nettle does, it binds to those proteins, preventing testosterone from attaching to it. Which means that as ZMA gets boosted, it boosts testosterone in your body, the stinging nettle um, keeps it free. So when the testosterone goes up, it doesn't bind to your proteins, and all that protein produced by ZMA remains free. So ZMA is going to boost your testosterone and the stinging nettle is going to ensure that most of it, even or even more of it, remains free. So this is the basic and summary of uh, your natural testosterone production and how supplements can affect your strength and muscularity.